Hello, I'm Dr. Yatros and I'm on a mission to help doctors free themselves from the tyranny of their EMR. The idea is to have your own workflow be completely independent from whatever EMR you use. Your personal workflow will follow you wherever you work so you never have to reinvent the wheel if you change jobs. Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple soap note using Excel or any other spreadsheet. A soap note is the simplest note of all. The subjective part is what you hear from the patient, the objective part is what you see, the assessment is what you make of it, and the plan is what the patient will do next. This is the ultimate minimalist note and should do the trick in many if not most situations. So here's an example. I start with a date, brief title, and then we see here the familiar components of the progress note. And I always add medications here, even though your EMR will have it. It's nice to be able to see it in each individual note, a snapshot of what the person was taking. Here's an example of the finished note with the familiar elements there. After getting the hang of this, in future videos, I'm gonna show you how to add more to it, including a more complex review of systems, like we can see in the example I showed in the other video. Um, more details about things like substance use and so forth, a more complex mental status exam. And we can even have Excel code the visit for you. Isn't that cool? You can see the finished product in my last video called How to Use Excel to Write Medical Notes. But first, we're going to learn how to walk before we learn how to run. I'll underline here everything that does not change. On the note. Everything that I highlighted here with three stars is what you will type each note. So in Excel we're gonna program it as the content of a cell. To illustrate this better I'm having Word show invisible characters here. So all of these space and enter marks are gonna have to be programmed in Excel as well. If not we're gonna see the whole note in, in a single paragraph. So when you build your own note, you're going to follow the same principle. You're going to create a skeleton of your note and then you're going to come here in Word and click on this button here and then you'll see all of the invisible characters. It's going to help you program your note into Excel. So now we're going to open up Excel and I'll leave this here in Word as a guide because this is going to help us in a little bit. We're going to skip row one because we're gonna need it for all the formulas. And we're gonna start here in row two, putting each of the headers. We can skip progress note because there's no variable associated with it. All the variables are gonna be in each column, one column per visit. As for subjective, medications, O, A, and P. So all of our headers are here. Uh, just to resize this column, we click when the cursor turns like this, double click, and it's going to resize it. And then let's just format it as a table so it looks a little bit better. Choose this one here. And I'll click on my table has headers because the date is the header of each note. So um, each visit you're going to type a new uh, date over here. This cell won't be used for anything. I can put a reminder here for myself to copy and paste um, the next cell over. And I'm gonna color these gray just to remind myself that these are the cells where I'm gonna have my formula. We're gonna rename this tab I'm going to call it PN for progress note. And that's because when we uh, go forward, I'm going to add some other things over here, like a running medication list, an intake, or even some um, terms that we can use for drop down menus if we want. So now we're going to save our file, but um, you can see the extension here says XLSX. That's a typical Excel file. We want to save it as a template. So we come here to File, Save As. We choose the folder where we want to save it. 
and we're gonna come to this menu here and search for Excel template XLTX then you choose the name I'm gonna choose pn.xltx and save it so here's what happens when you try opening a normal Excel file if you save it it keeps saving with the same name we don't want that we want Excel to force us to choose a new name for the file so when I open the template file and try to save it it's gonna bring the save as dialog and then I can save it with either the patient's name or medical record number or whichever way I want to identify it because I'm gonna be using this file over and over when I see that patient again all I'm gonna be doing is copying each of the uh, visit um, columns the formula cell here that we're gonna work on in a bit and I'm gonna copy it into the EMR that's why I don't have the patient's name here because it's irrelevant you know that's already gonna be in the EMR same thing with allergies uh, vital signs or anything else that's gonna be pertinent to the visit anything that your EMR can generate automatically from either a medical assistant or uh, a nurse or even labs things like that uh, you want to use that feature in your EMR you just want to um, use Excel for the stuff that you're going to be producing in the notes so you don't um, uh, you don't duplicate your effort so in Excel whenever we start a formula I'm going to double click here so I can start typing we start with equal sign and the next thing will be each of these headers here. So equal sign A2, like in the beginning of our note there. But here we need to press F4 because it's always gonna be that cell. When we copy and paste, we don't want Excel to assume that it has to, uh, to shift the cells. It will make more sense when we demonstrate it later. Now we're going to type ampersand and now what we want is a colon and you know a space. We don't, I guess we don't need to have the space there but I always do it after a colon just because. And we need to close quote. So ampersand is the cement to the different building blocks in a formula in Excel. The formula starts with equal sign and each element will be connected by ampersand. Now the next thing we need to build is a variable, right? Like the three stars there are gonna be cell B2. So we're gonna type ampersand B2. And now the next thing we need is two enters. Now in Excel, if I just press enter, right, like let's type a, uh, a date here. So um, now in Excel, if I just press enter, it goes to the next cell below. So we have to represent the uh, carriage return or enter with, you know, we put another ampersand. And this is the only thing you really have to memorize here is care or C-A-J-R for character, uh, 10 in parentheses. So now we have a date, the variable and one enter. So we need another enter here. So another ampersand and character 10. Okay, so let's check what we have. If we copy and paste this formula, let's uh, find word here. Um, if we copy and paste, we have, ignore the, the quotes, you know, that's something we're gonna have to, to deal with later. So we have date, colon, space, and then whatever variable we put here, and then two carriage returns. So let's continue our formula. Double click in the cell, go to the end, and now we're gonna have to type progress note and two enters. So since it's a text string, uh, which is progress note, you can't just start typing progress notes uh, there. So ampersand quote, progress space note, and then close quote, and then character 10, character 10, okay? 
So let's uh, test this again. Let's go back to our test note here. So, you know, we see our note starting to, to form there. Now we're gonna repeat the same principle, right? Like, cause in the note, we already have the headers here, the S, medications, O, A, P, and so forth. So this is actually gonna be very easy from now on. And basically we're gonna add each reference to column A and then column B with each variable. So let's see, so now we need the subjective. So, and that's A3. And we need to press F4 again to fix it to the column because we don't want that to change every time we, uh, we start a new note. So, ampersand, um, I guess we can uh, have the pound sign if we want. So, quote, pound sign, end quote, ampersand. Then we need an enter here. Character 10. Then we need the variable, which would be B3. So, and B3. Then we need two enters. And I can type here and character 10 and character, oops, just for consistency 10 okay now we need the string medications so since so much of it is similar now I can actually copy all of this and you're gonna see how easy this is so I need one two three four of those one two three four and now I come here and change it to four change this to four then change this to five, change this to five, change this to six, change this to six, change this to seven, and change this to seven. And our note is complete. So let's test it out. I'm copying the cell, Control C. Come here to Word, and what we should see is essentially what we saw in the other one. So let's try a mock note. So for example, I'm seeing someone for a depression follow-up. I would probably write a lot more in the subjective, by the way, this is just to demonstrate it. And plan, um, increase sertraline to 100 milligrams a day. And if we press enter to go to the next line, we just go to the next cell. So that's a trick you need to learn in Excel to have a next line in each section you type Alt plus Enter. So you know you get an, a new line there and then uh, follow up in two weeks. Okay, so let's see our finished note. We're gonna come here, uh, the first cell we're gonna copy, then we're gonna come here to Word and paste. So let's uh, pretend this is our EMR. Um, so that's our full note. I'm gonna just remove the spacing there. So um, yeah, so basically this is what you're gonna copy into your EMR. Hopefully you already have something pre-built like vital signs and allergies and so forth. So you don't have to worry about that. And that's it. We just did our first template, a simple note. If we click on save and we come here and I can save it with my patient's name, Jeffrey Hammond. All right. So. So let's suppose I'm seeing Jeffrey again in the clinic. I come here to my folder where I would have many patients there. I double click on Jeffrey's file. Do is to come here, copy and paste, because then you can just delete the subjective, the objective and the plan, and you don't have to copy the medication list uh, every time. We can even create a macro in Excel that does all of that automatically. I can teach you that in a different video. So that's it, you just created your first template using Excel and uh, in future videos we're gonna start adding some stuff to it and making it even more functional for you. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications button so you get notified whenever I upload a new video in this series. Thank you so much, see you soon.